people in this country don't know their rights. Human rights violations happen every day. This is a state of emergency. In our times, you couldn't talk freely about the government, especially in loud voices. This is a one-party state. All dissidents will be detained without trial. No hearing, no jury, no judge, and especially no journalist. Listen, honey, I'm in a mat. I'm on my way home. Yeah, look. What noise? I'm in a mat. People talk. There's music. Yeah, I'm... Come on, honey. Have I ever lied to you? Huh? Okay, just... Yeah, just... Just trust me. Trust me? Okay. I love you too. Fire is gone. What? The fire is gone. It's not the same, is it? I don't feel you anymore. Can't you feel restricted? Trapped. Don't get me wrong. It's not improbable that I still love you. And I want to marry you. But right now, I need my own space. You know what? feel numb about what you or anybody else says. How can you say that to me? How dare you talk to me like that? You call me demanding? All I do is look after you. All you do is talk to your friends about our sexual lives. You sound so chauvinistic and selfish. I'm sorry. You know, to your friends, I'm, I'm like a trophy, a conquest. And you sit there and say you don't feel me. You don't feel me. I'm sorry. I don't care. You know, the reason why I stopped writing was because we disagreed with my editor. I was still young and feisty. And I wanted to make this impact on our society. You know, a young budding writer wanting to make an exclusive expose on corruption in our country. Well, my editor wasn't comfortable. But I persisted. Sooner than later, heads started turning. The politicians were suing and paying off these humongous sums of money. So he tells me, my editor does, he tells me to tone down my content. I decided that I wasn't going to compromise my stand. That's what happened. You really must stop calling me like this. I'm in a mat. I'm in a... I am in a traffic jam. Yeah. Can we talk about this when I get home? 
No, I am not seeing another woman. <laughs> Can't you trust me? <laughs> so, you want to be a writer. Good writer. The best Africa has ever had. Right? Writing is an art form. You're either born with it or you acquire it. Personally, I believe good writers are born with this gift. But I also believe that everyone is born with a special talent. But very few people have the patience to pursue their or tap their talents. They're so busy concerned with what the society might think factor. Hmm? What I'm trying to say is this. If you want to be a good writer, just go and search deep, deep within yourself and find out. That's the point. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You, you're that writer who used to write that, um, that hard stuff. So what, what happened to you? I don't read a lot about you these days. In fact, I don't read anything at all about you. You know, the situation in our country is crazy. It, I mean, the leaders, they are shortchanging everybody they are. And then they're getting away with it. Look at the youth. What are you talking about? The youth? Think you're a good example to them? Think what you did in there was cool? What's wrong with you? Don't come in here and give us this moral bullshit. Look at yourself. You know, the society's moral decay. Now oh, leave us. I was conducting an interview. Go play your game somewhere else. Bravo, bravo. How many times did she come? Do you ever listen? Do you ever listen? Every time I call you're you, not supposed you to say you're there. in a match. I don't care no. where I am. I mean, what were you doing with her? I Just was... how low can you no, go? No, seriously, I was oh, just yeah, impressed. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. A school girl, huh? I was helping her with the homework. Homework? How is she telling me something? Don't call me a sweetheart. I don't care. Do you want a Fire is gone. It's not the same. 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 Right now, I need my own space. It's space. It's space. It's space. It's space. Fire is gone. It's gone. It's gone. 